So let us get to the big exciting part. I'm going to zoom you out um, because this is going just a hair. We are going to go over um, a projected budget for next paycheck and we're going to go over kind of my master list of um, budget categories and binders that I, I, I should have. Uh, I am missing when, when I write out my budget um, and the different categories and things that have to get paid, somehow I keep forgetting um, what to put in, oh, I need coffee, what to put in my, my list of what to pay. So this last budget that I did, I forgot Canva, uh, I forgot, I forgot quite a lot, I forgot Canva, I forgot, um, I forgot Quip was coming out, Quip. I get toothbrush heads from Quip. Uh, that's easy for me to remember. They come every three months. You know, I pay $12 for a toothbrush head for myself and for my daughter, and then batteries come with it. Um, so, yeah, so it's just easy. I can never remember to change my toothbrush. Uh, so that just, that helps quite a lot. So we are, so uh, I got this book because my ADHD therapist said, why don't you write out your thoughts so it might be easier for you to communicate um, because I have a trouble communicating. Uh, so I got some Phylic stickers, hello, llama, and emotional cactus, and plants that I can't kill. So, hey, for me. La -di -da, says the El llama. Right, so monthly budget. These are, I had to go into page number two, because clearly this was not enough. So, my dear friends, this is where All we right. are at. So friends, this is it. These are all the categories and things that I have come up with that I would like to save for. So we're gonna go over our master budget list. Um, so we're going to start here. So under house, I have insurance, so renter's insurance, rent, internet, electricity, sewer and water, emergency, and storage. So that one is what has to get paid. Car, I have gas, maintenance, repairs, registration, inspection, and car tax. And then, <laughs> since I forgot some things, I have the uh, continued part. So insurance, deductible, rental, emergency, and transportation. You're going to see I have uh, emergency in a couple of different places, uh, and that is just because I feel like for that those specific categories, I need to have an emergency fund. <sighs> so let us move down here for food. We have groceries and food out. Really, that's all we need. Um, cats, I have Chewy, Grooming, Vet, emergency and then toys and scratchers we're gonna go up to medical medical these should be like separate separate binders right so <clears throat> medical I have a deductible a primary copay a specialist copay dental vision emergency room because that's a different amount and mental health uh, in some cases I have numbers by them because that is how much we need either to pay it that's how much we need to pay it per per whenever we go, um, or per whenever it's due. Um, the other ones, I I might be doing monthly, or they're they're just gonna vary. So next category is spending. And that's my daughter's spending. Or I'm gonna save the age that she is. For me, I'm gonna save the age that I am. And then we have Sam's Club because I would like to go to Sam's Club and bulk buy um, some meats or cereals and drinks and some stuff that I know can either hold in the freezer um, or in the pantry. Uh, freezer, our freezer is pretty small, so I have to be very strategic about what to purchase. Next one is business. This is for my travel agent business. Uh, I am a travel agent. I book all kinds of vacations. I plan all kinds of vacations. I do specialize in cruise vacations and cruise travel, but that is not all I do. I do quite a lot. Um, I would like to grow my business uh, and have this eventually be my only source of income. So 
So I have my host agency fees, my website and travel itinerary, Adobe, Seeks for Itself, Canva, Squarespace, Houses, my business email, and my domain. Thrive Software, I still have to say for it, those are the people that are going to help me get more exposure uh, on online. Um, and they're going to help me with some social media posts and whatnot. Google Storage, because I take a lot of videos and pictures. Fam trips, conferences, emergency, e and insurance. Now, e and insurance is provided by my host agency, but just in case, uh, I am going to need to save up to purchase e and insurance um, as my business grows. Um, and then P.O. Box. P.O. Box, <laughs> I have forgotten about for months now. I can't remember when I got it, if I got, if I paid for a year or if I paid for six months. So we need to start saving for the P.O. Box for sure. And our friendly next page, I'm just going to move you over tad and for this category savings we have medical bills which are going to be separate from medical savings challenges of course glasses emergency month ahead pto or two weeks ahead now with the uh, job i have at walmart we accrue pto and um, protected ppo from the day we start and we can use those as we see fit. Um, <laughs> I was supposed to be at work today, but guess what? I messed up. I and my alarm went off at three and instead of hitting snooze, I hit uh, dismiss or shut off. And I woke up at 524 and I'm like, mm, no. Um, we They go with the, the points method at work. So I would have gotten a, a point or two points, I don't know, for not showing up or showing up late. So I did use some protected PTO today because my daughter is uh, sick, wasn't having a great time last night, and my spine hurts. Um, so I'm still getting paid for today, but I totally, totally messed up. Um, and I have enough P uh, protected PTO, and it was uh, approved. So there we go. Then I want to save up for a new car. I want to save up for birthdays and for Christmas, even though it's very awkward for me for holidays and birthdays. I have my daughter, she's turning 19 next month. Um, and I still want to be a part of her birthday because I'm her mother and I birthed her. Um, so we want to celebrate her birthday for sure. I do, it's, it's painful. But I want to save up for Christmas, again, mostly because I have a daughter and she wants presents. Um, now that she's older, I think I'm just going to give her cash money for her birthday and for Christmas. I am I am very awkward um, around the holidays. I, for me, they feel forced. I feel uh, very uncomfortable, I'm not sure what to do. I don't know who to talk to, I don't know what to say, and it's, it's, all, it's all very awkward for me. Um, so I, I, and I spent the majority of my adult life on my own working on those specific holidays because everybody wanted off and they knew that I was not going home, home for the holidays, um, that I stayed, I was staying in town. So I got scheduled on all the holidays. So that's that. Uh, travel. So this is a travel binder that I do want to have. I have flights, car rental, hotel, travel insurance, that is very important, transportation, excursions and tours, food, spending, emergency, and resort fees. Now, travel insurance. I do not care who you are, where you're going. Get travel insurance. As we have seen with the airlines lately, um, things are getting a little crazy. So travel insurance would would help reimburse you if you needed to purchase another flight. You'd you'd have travel insurance. You'd pay for the flight, and then travel insurance would reimburse you if for some reason you got stuck um, overseas or your package got lost and whatnot. You, for all myriad of different reasons, submit, you know, purchase what you need to purchase and submit the receipts to your travel insurance company, and they should be able to reimburse you if it is a covered claim. For emergencies, <laughs> emergencies, if you're, yeah, if you are on a cruise and something happens 
and you miss the ship, or you get sick while you're on the ship, or you get injured on an excursion, you're going to want to have a, a fair amount of money set aside so that you can pay hospital bills while you're in that country. You want to have place uh, money for a place to stay in that country. Um, and you want money for, for just in case, for, for so just in case if you need transportation out of that country back home, or if you need transportation out of that country to your next cruise port so you can meet the ship. You want money for all of that set aside. Now, travel insurance could cover quite a lot of that, but you're still putting money out, right? And then you're going to submit the claim, send in your receipts, and see what, um, it, 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 hopefully travel insurance will cover it. Um, there is a list of what, what is covered in travel insurance. Uh, so if you want information, uh, you can let me know. I can send you over my list, um, for travel insurance, kind of what, what it is and what it covers. Now, resort fees, resort fees you pay per day to the resort. So if you're going to a resort in Mexico or, um, another country, Hawaii, Caribbean resorts, you're going to pay a resort fee and that is not paid prior to your trip. That is paid during, at your trip, during or after the trip, right? So it's paid directly to the hotel and that's like 20 or $30 per day. It can be upwards of 40 or 50, $75 per day. Um, so you want to save money for resort fees also. And if you have a travel agent that you're working with and you book your vacation with, they should tell you that the resort charges resort fees. So that is where I'm going with that. Now, up one, we have debt. Here is the debt that I have. These are all pretty much credit cards, except for the Lending Club, which is a personal loan. So I have Capital One, Quick Silver, Lending Club, TJ Maxx, Home Depot, Amazon, Sam's Club, Target, and my Navy Federal Rewards card. Those are, are the debts that I need to pay. So, I think we're going to leave this here and maybe do a part two or part three. And um, we'll see you next time. We don't get.